Oh, hey, y'all. Uh, what's up? I don't do lives very often, so this is a big deal. I'm a wave. Um, so nice to see you guys all. Let me see. Uh, let me wait for um, the queen, Robin, to join us. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, were you getting my text? I was like, I'm trying to get in right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. Say, at least we're both in the same boat. Uh, thank God. Um, you sound crystal clear. You look gorgeous. Oh, Love thanks. the glasses. <laughs> Welcome, guys. We Welcome to our uh, our casting 101 with uh, with the queen of casting herself, Robin. What's up, Robin? I'm here. <laughs> and with Arissa. Thank you very yes. much. God, I yes. feel so close. It's a whole like makeshift thing I have right now in this room. It's 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 a mess. No, um, no. Anyway, let's, talk about, let's talk about casting. Let's do it. Let's get into okay. this. Let's okay, right into it. We hate the preamble. We're going right for it. You have to be 19 as of February 2023rd. And okay. these types of questions, guys, just so you know, if you go to the Big Brother Canada casting page, at the top there's like an FU and if if you clicked on there, some of these answers are in there. Like, when will I hear back by? How old do I have to be? You can always go into the FAQs and they'll have those answers. But yes, as long as you're 19 by February 2023, you can apply for Big Better Canada 11. And I know that's a tender age, but uh, there have been some incredible players who are very, very young uh, in our past. So that would not disqualify you at all, even if you're just legal for us. <laughs> Um, yes, you the next question? come on in. Robin, what makes yes. a virtual audition video stand out? That's from Tonio. I mean, it's probably the number one thing that people like to ask. And feel free to join in also, Rissa. You've seen videos as yes. well. You've talked to people. It's really difficult to pinpoint exactly what makes the best video. I will say that authenticity is the number one word that we use in casting. What does that mean? Not trying too hard, not trying to be someone you're not. A lot of people use um, these sort of big brother cliche phrases and words. And if you've ever heard me talk about casting on anything before, it's like the number one pet peeve. When you got off, you were saying, don't do the thing that you think people want to hear. Oh, I'm right. using all the catchphrases under the bus. Uh, Threat, like you get want blood on my hands, love me or hate me. Um, it's like those cliches. A lot of people will say them, and listen, some of them might be truthful to you. And us, as casting professionals who have done this show for many, 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 many years, How many um, years? Many. I can for for a lot, for a lot. <laughs> we'll just say a lot. Um, like we can tell if someone means it or if they're just saying it because they think that's what they should say. The number mm. one thing, if anybody's heard me talk about casting videos, is um, I'll be your best friend, but if you backstab me, I'll be your worst enemy. It's like, I don't know why every single person who applies thinks they have to say that sentence or some you know, version of that sentence. That's fine, but when you say it like that, when you say it with no meaning behind it, I don't believe you. I think you're just saying it to say it. I'll be your best friend, but if you stab me in the back, I'll be your worst enemy. Okay, well, great. If you're going to say that, my next question will be, great, give me some examples back of times that, that have happened. You have yeah. to come with examples. You should have examples on your video. You should have examples if you go to finals and you're talking with a casting producer. Um, be ready for examples. If you say that you're ultra competitive, you better believe we're going to ask for examples. Are you competitive? Yeah, Where are you competitive? Better examples like, than just I play siblings? sports. Right. It, yeah, but I play sports is like, okay, that's great. Everybody is competitive when they play sports. Are you competitive at work? Do you want to make sure you get, you know, the next slot? Are you competitive at home? Do you play games with your best friends? Are you one of those people who are like, Okay, I'll bet you $5 if I can do this faster. Like, give us those kind of examples so we know that you are a competitive person. So just make sure. If you have these blanket statements, I promise you, myself or one of the casting producers, their next question is going to be, all right, give me examples. So make sure you always have examples. Next Here's question. the thing. Robin, Robin and her team are really, really good at sussing out 
the people who um, are not genuine or seem to be putting something on because here's the thing that might work for like this stage when you're just, you know, doing one interview or doing one video, but that falls away within three days of being in the house. Like it's gone. It's gone. Right. Who you are is what remains. And that's what we want. And that's what people respond to. And if you get to that point where you're talking to one of the casting producers on the show, I mean, it's their job to sort of break you out of your nerves to find out just what you're like when you're shooting the shit with some of your friends you have some drinks with your girlfriends you're going out with the guys what do you talk about what do you like don't worry so much about i have to make sure to get this sentence in they just want to talk to you they want to see what you're going to be like two weeks into into living in the house not just that day one when your nerves are there you're so excited you're on your best behavior you're ready to go they want to see what happens when like you're cranky, you haven't had as much sleep, maybe you haven't had a cup of coffee, you had a late night comp, you're talking, you know, gossiping with your friends, they wanna see who that person is. So it's up to the producers and myself and you get to finals to sort of break that down and just talk with you and that is authenticity is what we're talking about. We just wanna see what you're like every day when you're hanging out with your friends. I'm gonna go to, um, an important question on here that I, yes. a question that I love answering that we can talk about. So it is, is it worth reapplying if you've never passed the first round in years? So here's the thing. I love this mm. question because yeah. I'm going to give real life examples from last season. I'm going to tell you that <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six of the house guests were finalists prior to season 10. So I'm letting you guys know that sometimes once, sometimes twice, multiple times, maybe season nine, maybe prior years. The thing is, you guys, people change in a year. You have life experiences that mold you. You've done traveling around the world that you didn't do last year. Maybe you moved out on your own. Maybe you got married. Maybe you got divorced. Maybe you got a dog. What, whatever is these things change you, mold you, make you a different person. So I always say, yes, please, please, please keep applying. I just saw Marty wrote keep applying because yes, Marty was a finalist for season nine. I remember. Um, and you know, we always say to people, please, please, please. If you don't, we're only looking for a small group of people. And if you don't make it this time around, definitely please keep mm -hmm. applying you guys and do not submit the same video that you applied with last year, because that person Good point. has not molded and changed. A new, get, tell us about the new adventures in your life, the new things in your life. A, a year is a long time, and it's interesting if you guys, and I'm sure you have heard this, Arissa, if you talk to hmm. any of the applied more than once, which is almost every single house guest who's ever made it in, they will always say, I am so glad, you know, I didn't get on last year. I really needed this year to mature. I really needed this year to find out who I was. Thank goodness. We always seem to put people in the right seasons. Now, yes, of course, you're going to watch and say, if I was in that season, I would have been friends with blah, blah, blah. You don't know any of those things. No. All you know is when you are done with your season, I've every single year, and I'm sure it happens with you, I'm so glad this was was my year this was the year i was supposed to be in so yes please 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 keep applying when, when would you hear back if uh, if you're being considered well, we are still going through applications so if you're somebody who applied a month ago you're freaking out why haven't i heard back don't worry about it we are still going through applications we look at every video that comes in everyone we look at through you know and everybody will hear back before the end of the year. So before the holidays is when you will hear back. Some people will say, yeah, but I applied, you know, six months ago and my neighbor applied two weeks ago. They heard, and you guys, we, I have a whole bunch of different teams. They watch in different areas, different times. Sometimes they watch newer to older. Sometimes they watch older than newer. Sometimes they decide to watch all the females. Sometimes they decide to watch all the males. It's all different. So it doesn't necessarily matter when you applied. If you applied a long time ago, it doesn't mean that you'll be one of the first to be called. Yeah. It just means everybody who we want to move on will be called before the holidays. So you still have a little bit of time. And then another question on here that I'm gonna get straight mm -hmm. to is, 
Um, is there equal consideration for those who apply last minute as those who apply at the beginning? Mm. Yes and no. Yes, we will watch all those videos. My advice is to get your application in now. Get it in now. Once we get towards the end, listen, we will watch all the videos and if you are a shining star, I guarantee we will call you in last minute. That being said, you're competing with all the thousands of people who we've already seen before you. That's why I say get your application in now. Get it in early. Give us time. To, when, the, when the deadline comes, we get flooded. Thousands yeah. and thousands. We are going through. We'll watch every one of them, but we're going through and we're going through and we're going through. If you get it in now, we have a little bit of time. We are going to take our time. We're going to read through, the, through your application. So I would say the earlier, the better. That doesn't mean you don't have a chance if you get it in late, but for some reason, and I don't know why, people think like, if I'm the very last application in, they're gonna remember me the most. No, it doesn't work like that. It just kind of says you're a procrastinator and you've been putting it off for three months. Like, get your application <laughs> in now. That would be my advice. And it would probably be Arissa's advice too. Arissa? Uh, 100%. I think. Um... Yeah, maybe that plan works with other things. It does not work with this one. You want to give um, Robin's casting team and all of our team enough time to really get to know who you are. And sometimes that's that's multiple conversations, right? So I think um, show us that you want to be on. Here's the thing. We don't want to drag anyone kicking and screaming onto these casts. Um, thousands and thousands of people would love a place on Big Brother Canada. I mean, sometimes it's thousands and thousands who aren't even in our country. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that happens. Um, so we want people who really want to be there. And I think, to be honest, if you have the mental fortitude to be able to make it through a very fun, challenging, unique, and unusual experience, um, you're going to be a little tough. And you will have to really want to be there. So we want the people who want to be there most of all. That's who we're looking for. So um, just show us that you uh, that you care. And I think that will go a long way. That will go a long yeah. way. Uh, Robin. Put a little bit of thought in everything you yeah. do. Just a little. Yeah. Just a little bit. Speaking of a little bit of thought into what you do, um, Mr. Orchards asked, what should a casting video consist of? So you've definitely seen more than I, um, but I probably would I've notice a lot. the same things that you love to see. So why don't you take this one and I can jump in after. I think the most, and there's another question here that asks, um, what should you not have in a casting video? Yes. So I'm gonna kind of put Do those two things together. Please remember, that there's not a lot of time in the casting videos. We like them to be about two minutes long. So mm -hmm. take those full two minutes and make sure you're talking about yourself. Don't introduce your parents. Don't introduce your coworkers. You don't have to show us your cute pets. I mean, I love seeing your cute pets, but it yeah. doesn't, it, it now it takes away talking about yourself. You don't have to start the video by saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe I only have two minutes. How am I ever gonna get through this in two minutes? Two minutes is not long enough. Well, now you've just taken 45 seconds of your two minutes. And what I'm saying is, take those two minutes and make sure those two minutes are about yourself. What I was saying was you don't have to introduce us to your mom and your dad right. and your coworkers and your plant and your roommate and your dog and your cat. I want to hear about you. I want to hear what you do on the weekends. I want to hear about your job. I want to hear about your life. I want to hear how you play Big Brother. I want the entire time to be about you and your life, what makes you interesting, what makes you unique, why we would want to watch you. Yes, I have no doubt I would want to watch your dog, but since your dog is not going in the Big Brother house, we don't need to hear four minutes about why your dog is so cute. You know I can go on about my dog forever, so that's why I'm letting you know. This is true. Know. Um, this is true. And you guys, I could see people say, oh my gosh, two minutes. My video was three minutes and four seconds. It's okay. Don't worry. That being said, we might only watch two to three minutes of it. But if it's long, we're not going to throw anything away. I always get emails. Robin, I did mine sideways and you told me to do it up and down. It's like, you guys will get through them. I'm just saying it's easier when the format is correct, when the timing is correct. We have so many videos that we're going through that if you send us a seven minute video, 
It doesn't mean we're going to delete it, but we'll probably watch the first two or three minutes of it and then move on. Yes or no. We're not going to watch seven minutes of your video, but we're also not going to delete it just so you guys know. Yeah. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. For me, how I think of it is this. Think about who some of your favorite players were from the past years. Almost to a man, they are amazing in the diary room. When they're in there, you're entertained. They might not be shouting. They might be whispering. They might be... They are originals the second they're in that diary room, no matter how much lying they're doing or backstabbing out in the house. And I think, to me... That's like, that's when it's just you and that's it. There's no, you're not competing with anybody else for that attention. So think of your interview like that. It's just you. If you really pop in this, in your, in your video, that's going to make me think, oh, what, this is what they'd be like in the D. Okay. okay and, and that's what see. we do, Arissa. We will watch people and say, how will they be in the diary room? And it's yeah. not even your enthusiasm, it's how you tell a story. Yes. You guys, a story should have a beginning, a middle, an end. It should be concise, it should be quick. Sometimes we'll, t we'll listen to a video or we'll interview someone, someone will tell a story and we're like, oh my God, that took nine minutes. They could have told all the best parts of the story in 45 <laughs> seconds, we would have got it and understood it. Yes, we like details, but be aware, you guys, when you're in the diary room, those house guests know how to give those sound bites, make them yes. quick, make them interesting, make them fast. And you should be doing the exact same thing as you're making your video. And yes, we do that all the time. Sometimes I will even like not even look at the person, just listen to them, listen to their voice, hear what they sound like. Can they tell a story? Are they keeping my attention? Yeah. Um, and decide that way. So be, the That's diary brilliant. is a huge part of the casting process. Mm -hmm. I think uh, another thing we talk about a lot is like finding the thing that really makes you you and kind of leaning into that. We do not want um, a bunch of the same people. <laughs> we want originals. Uh, uh, say less about how much like Anthony you are or uh, Victoria or John. I want to see the originals. We all want to see originals. You want to see originals watching the show. You don't want rehashes of the same people. So. Somebody on Twitter brought up this thing and said, like, screw my perfectionism, I'm applying. We don't want perfect. How Nobody's that perfect. Be? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's no, perfect. perfect. Even the right. winners have flaws. Even the people who have done this have flaws. We love the flaws. That's what yes. makes you interesting and unique. We want to hear different things. People say, Robin, what do you want to hear in these videos? I want to hear something I haven't heard yeah. in 20 years. I want if you to hear to watch Listen, the video, you go, oh Robin my Wish. gosh, yeah. I've never seen that before. That's the best thing ever. I love <laughs> that. That makes you unique and interesting and a great house guest. Yes, amazing. Now I see that I can, let's see if I can add some, uh, oh, I was hoping for some, some special guests, but I did see a lot of um, players in the chat. Have you noticed that? I, I've seen a few. Yeah. I've been talking more, so I haven't been looking. I see Steph. I see Marty. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Moose, um, Brittany. Uh, who else did I see in there? Tina. Um, Steph says, we want to see chaos. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> y'all, yeah, she's going to freeze again. We know it. No, is it happening again? <laughs> oh, gosh. OK. Yes. By the way, here's one question. We You're do, going we down. We do get this all the time. Which going is, down. Well, oh, no. The question is, if you can hear me still, ever consider letting an American or two play in Big Brother Canada from Double H Square? Oh, God. I see. Robin. I will tell you that that would have nothing to... Can you hear me? Is this thing yes, on? Yes, yes, I would tell you that that question would have nothing to do with me or with the casting team. That would, that would be clearly a production answer um i i don't think it's going to happen um don't mark my words 100 percent, but i don't think it's gonna happen a because there's already a u.s version and we are the canadian yeah. version and b yeah. there's a lot of paperwork there's a lot of money transfer um a lot of things and sometimes you have to have a canadian passport for specifics to get paid same with the u.s you have to have so i'm telling you I don't think it should happen or will happen. Never say never. 
Uh, that's a very good point. Um, I will uh, second all of those emotions. Never say never. But listen, I, I get it. I get why if you're American, you might be salty about it. Um, just think of the absolute domination on Survivor of the last two women winners being Canadian women, which is something we're very proud of. Not really surprised that there's um, no. Uh, I mean, when I work no in Big Brother Survivor Canada. When I'm working on Big Brother Canada, I consider myself Canadian. So I'm like, yes, Canadian. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I think I'm Canadian. Arissa, come on. You are, you are honorary okay. because you have been working on Big Brother Canada since the beginning. I A lot have, of you, if you don't know. know that, Robin has been there since day one. Think back to every iconic player you've loved over all the seasons. That's Robin and her team. So I want to, sometimes I have to remind people, like, don't get it twisted. This is not, these are not new people. We love our show desperately. Both you and I are so committed to the show being incredible every year. And I feel like that's also a testament to how good um, Canadians are at, uh, at, at, at showing themselves to us and then providing this like incredible entertainment. Which, listen, life can get real dark out there sometimes. You need a little levity, you need a little Big Brother Canada, you need to be able to psychoanalyze and, and find your faves and love to hate people and hate to love people. I mean. That is what we're providing, and we want to find the best people for that. And if it's not you this year, just like uh, Queen Robin said, it doesn't mean another year isn't going to be for you. And there are people who were on last cast who were, you know, very seriously looked at multiple years in a row. Multiple years. Think about that. And when it's your time, when it's the right time, that's when you're going to land on the show. The Canadian apple, like people who ask, will, will American citizens be able to apply? Here's the thing. Canadian applicants are, are so good. I, there's never been a time when I have been casting Canada and said, oh my gosh, I just really, I really need some American players. You guys always come through. And I'm saying, season one, it was like, oh, we're do going to, is everyone gonna be too nice? What's gonna <laughs> happen? Y'all are not too nice, A. And B, you're colorful, you're amazing. And I've never had a feeling that I needed to go outside of Canada to find amazing house guests. So mm -hmm. I'm basically giving you all compliments saying you are amazing. And uh, Big Brother US, though the US people can go and apply there and let's keep Canada for ourselves because I mean, you guys are the best. I'm just. I love. I, I I could not agree more. I am like bowing down to you. I see more people in the chat um, who played and who watch, and I totally agree. And actually, speaking of sort of the Canadian stereotypes, I do want to mention one thing that um, you know people say over oh, two nights. That's not even always true at all, and I agree with you. But one thing I feel like we are taught to do, and I think this is like people talk about it because they call it the um, what is it, the tall poppy syndrome that people who sort of stand out more than other people tend to get chopped down by other people. Um, I do feel like there is a tendency for us to be self-deprecating. Um, and I do see that a lot, but I promise you, Robin and I are giving you permission to not be humble in any way. I wanna hear all about you. We wanna hear all about you. We don't care if you come off conceited because to be honest, you actually need a little bit of swag, of conceit, of narcissism, of loving attention, loving a camera. You have to. You, you have, have to, to have need, all we those need that. things. So don't be bad. Don't feel bad about that. We will not judge you. And in fact, people respond again to the people who are bold enough to be their authentic selves and not feel like they have to put on anything. Um, so yeah, we want we want that creative spirit. Now I'm kind of a little bit afraid, Robin, to add anyone because this is kind of I, when I, I have I, issues. I've seen and I'm excited and I hope it works, but I'm afraid too. Okay, well, let, why don't we answer one more question just because uh, at this point, uh, <laughs> ooh, uh, Melina just wrote, realness only, agreed, agreed. Uh, and what did John say, his, his personality attracts narcissists? <laughs> is that a Frenchie in the chat? Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go. You have to, to want to talk about yourself a lot all day long to be in Big Brother. That is that is what you should do, what you should love doing, and what you should feel comfortable doing. Yeah. Okay, Robin. Here's a here's an important one. I think I messed up submitting my video auditions. It's a question from Ben, like Penn, okay. but I posted it to my TikTok. Is that okay? 
listen, I, I, it's not ideal, mainly because we try every year to keep the casting process as confidential as possible. Yeah. So like one of the things that we say to people when we talk to them and when we want them to move on in the process is don't tell anyone you're in the process. Don't tell your parents, don't tell your friends. We don't want this to get up. As soon as it's all over social media, you might be taken out of the process. So I would not advise Ugh. putting it on TikTok just because follow-up questions are gonna be, do you get a call? Are you gonna go on? What's, oh my gosh, they're not on TikTok for a day. They must be in sequester. Like, it's just best to just keep it to yourself, you guys. I always tell people, remember, only a small group of people make it on the show. So if you don't, now you're just a person who's answering all these questions like, no, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. It's gonna bum you out. I think low key, some people like that, Robin. Like, what do you think? <laughs> they're like, oh my God, why does everyone keep asking me? I am not on the seat. Like, Right. Don't worry about it. Don't right. Worry about it. By the way, it's been it. seven people. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can say this because I too have been a house guest. Different show, different yes. era of reality yes. television for YouTube. Don't want to date myself. Thank but, you. Um, but it is a it is a really um, tough thing to do. But my gosh, if you go into it with the idea that this is going to be the most unusual strange, challenging, thought-provoking, and fun year of your life, or moment of your life. Like, th that's the kind of people we want. We want that energy all day, every day. That's who we want. And I think- And I think we've at... done a really good job of that for 10 mm -hmm. seasons. Yeah, for literally 10 seasons. Even heartbreak, even our COVID season. Um, we have uh we have really we really brought some incredible people together and we're gonna do it again like we won't stop we won't stop until we are okay stopped. do we have someone joining us or are we going to try this we're gonna try we're gonna okay, try let's okay. see what happens guys okay fingers crossed good luck i just am <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try one more time <laughs> stop laughing at me Yay! Hi, Oh, you look so good. What's up, Josh? Oh, you look good. You? Thank you. It's the Vancouver sun that finally came out. You're I looking good. Iced coffee, rested, <laughs> yoga this morning. What are some things that you can, I mean, obviously, these people want to hear your side of the casting process. Yes. Is there anything that you remember oh, that God. stood out, that you liked, that you didn't like, you were nervous about? Like, tell us something that you went through during your casting last year. So I actually have thought about it for a really long time before I did anything, which it's good to know yourself as a person, but you do need to submit the video to get on the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I submitted my application. I remember because it was time marked. I submitted it like five minutes before it was due. And my boyfriend was helping me stitch together the edits in like two seconds. I do not recommend that because that was the most stressful time. <laughs> uh, but I would just say get to know yourself when you're applying on this show, what makes you different and special. I mean, in my audition video, I, I wore my stethoscope because I just thought that would be something that immediately catches someone's eye. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's a part of yourself that you think is different, just show that off like right away. So there's something uh, that people want to know. What about your interviews, your interview with your casting Ooh. producer, your finals interview oh. with myself? Like, was it scary? Was it more fun than, than you expected? Like, tell them a little about well, that. Well, I was so curious because, of course, I watched all Me these too. What if he's Ooh, like, Robin, it. you're so mean. I would be like, no. Oh. No, 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 Robin, we had a good time. I, I was like, we should go for drinks. Like, I, I had a great time. I was like, we're friends now. That's how I felt. That's how I was it not should feel. It was super open. I felt like all of the questions were things that, like, were just getting about to know me as a person. And it was super cool. And I'm still waiting to hang out with you, Robin. So I know. Guys, you, got, you know, that, that's such a good point. You guys know that if you get to the point where you're going to be interviewing with myself, with the producer, we're not here to, like, trick you. We're yeah. not here to, like, ask you questions that you don't know. <laughs> like, all we do is sit back. What'd you do today? What's going yeah. on? Like, we just want to talk to you. So get rid of any nerves as much as you can. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, True, yeah. when... I am done with these interviews. That's the best thing that someone could say is like, we should go out and have a drink. Like, we should go out <laughs> for dinner. That, that's how I want people to feel because then you've gotten past all of the cliches 
and you're just chatting with me and having a good time. I think exactly. that's really important. I mean, I can't say that I didn't feel like I was going to shit my pants when I was meeting you, <laughs> but we got past that point in the first few seconds, which is great. That's all I can ask for. Aww. Well, um, Josh, it worked you were, out. Um, such an amazing house guest to watch and your whole story, your ups and downs. You had the best reactions of words. literally anyone. Best what? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the memes. You know what I mean. Oh, I love um, the food. You know what I mean. I love food. Food gets I know. Food. When sweet Kevin was going to leave and you were just like, <laughs> no. no. I cannot. But there's the fast food meme. You, oh, my God. With the fries at the end of the bag. When I saw that after I got out of the house. <laughs> Like, that's so Best prior ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Josh, for stopping by. Thank much you. appreciated. And listen, um, you know, there's some people that just pop like crazy, and Josh was one of those people. Um, but you really thought about it, and I know it was stressful, but I will forever be grateful that you joined the cast. And that's how I feel about literally everyone who's played too. Like, it's such a unique thing, and it is unlike it is. any kind of three months you could ever have anywhere else. You can imagine it, but until you're there, you never really know what it's going to be like. Yeah. And I think that's why it's so important to know yourself. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. Yeah. point. Know so thyself. You, Josh. Know thyself. Just... Thank you, You are Josh. such a superstar. We love having you. Bye, darling. See you. Love you. Love you, okay, too. So, but I don't even know how to do this. Look at that. I'm like, <laughs> I think you might have to leave. Now we just, like, follow him to the bathroom and, like, follow him <laughs> Oh, my God, please house. don't follow. We don't want to follow you to the bathroom. No, we do not. Okay. Um, we are going to hit up another question here, I think. Okay. Uh, oh, this is a good one from Sam Borges. Do you choose people based on their location ever? Oh, what the hell? Hey, Ronnie, we'll get back to you, Sam. We have other things. Right now. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you, Betty? I'm good. How are you? No, we're so good. How's How Marissa? Do you remember? I don't. Do you remember how much we loved Betty? Like, oh, I Betty mean, we loved it. them all, but it was like I still remember watching um, your video when you first did your semifinal interview, and we were dying. <laughs> You're just one of those like authentically funny. Kind of bitter, which makes it kind of funny, but like competitive in the best way. And like, I feel like we loved you even before from, we met. From you. the jump, Betty, it was like this was like a no brainer. You popped up, in. you're like, she's on the show, it's a wrap. Um, what was it like for you going through the casting process, Betty? Thank you. Honestly, I applied around this time, it was actually this video with both of you, and um, that pushed me to do it because I was like oh you know I don't know if I'm gonna do it and then see people apply yeah yep. <laughs> end of the month and I was it was just like talking to a friend I just went for it and I think the biggest thing for me was the video doesn't have to be the most like you know all the special effects yes like no honey I was like on my couch and I was just like all right this is why I'm gonna win big brother and I just laid it out <laughs> Um, so I think that was one of the biggest uh, pieces for me. And also like speaking to my game. So like speak with yeah. your, your game of conviction. Like if you want to go out there and be a backstabber, do you uh -oh. appreciate way more than if mm -hmm. you go on and say you're going to do it or not. So just be real. And I'm telling you, good things will happen. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that was one of the things that everyone could say about you and your game, Betty, was that you were, you know, you were real. It was like, take me or leave me. And people really respond to that. And it wasn't because you pandered, right? Like some people you're like, oh, they're just saying what I think, what they think I want to hear. It's not how yes. it works. We want to see real people who aren't thinking about what you want. They're thinking about what they want, what their game is about. That's what that I want to watch. And that's the thing. I think so many players are a little bit different in the casting process. And then sometimes I see them on the show and I'm like, wait, hold on. That doesn't happen often. Betty, uh, I mean, uh, uh, from beginning to end, Betty was Betty was Betty. Like she <laughs> went through the casting process. The day she went in there, she had her, you know, she wore, wore her emotions on her sleeves yeah. and let us go on 
the journey with her. And I think mm -hmm. that that is the most important thing, even starting in the casting process, yeah. to be authentic. Even if you say things that, that I don't know, you're like, oh, why did I say that? Sometimes those are the best things to say, and those are the things we love about you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd like to tell everyone out there that wants to apply, and they think that, you know, that the, their authentic self won't get them on. Trust me, just do it. If you're any part of Canada, just apply. I'm telling you, I got on, and I know that you can too. So just do it. What's the uh, first that can happen? Love Easy it, breezy. love it. Thank you so much, Betty. Oh, thank you guys. Aww, so good seeing you, Betty. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye. Oh my gosh. I love, I love, I love this. I'm gonna go back to the question from uh, from Ben Like Pan, which I think. Oh, you're still here, so listen up. Okay, I you can, you can help me answer. Yeah, oh, there you go. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I messed up submitting my, oh, no, no, not that one. What I want is, oh, Sam Borges, do you choose people based on their location ever? This is a very interesting question. I mean, yes and no. Um, we try our hardest to represent all of Canada. Our hardest. Um, we, I mean, and we try and try and try and it usually works out. That being said, I always say the best people who are right for the show are going to get on the show. Yeah. Um, and so we might try harder in some areas. Obviously, when the applicants start applying, we get 75% of them are from Ontario. That's just it. We end yep. up getting more people from Ontario than anywhere else in Canada. And that's so a we... straight demographic issue. That's just straight numbers. So if they're not from Toronto, we get a ton from Vancouver, from Calgary, from Edmonton, Montreal, some of the bigger cities. Um, but that never means that we would discount someone else. Like, we would love to cast more people from Saskatchewan. We would love to cast people yes. from North. We are trying. But ultimately, we still want the best mix of people. Um, and if we're not getting that, maybe that person is going to be better, uh, a better fit next year. Or maybe they will know themselves more and really knock it out of the park the final, uh, you know, the following year. We have a huge country. We have just massive, but our population is really small and it's really concentrated in a lot of areas. So that means more people are going to be coming from those places. Right. And then you find out it's Canada, like even Toronto with its, whatever it is, GTA, six million people, people still have connections to each yes. other. It's unbelievable how that happens, but that's I a know. Canada thing. I really feel like everyone is like only one degree away of everyone <laughs> it's else. True. It's true, it's true, it's <laughs> true. Okay, amazing. Um, all right, uh, do you see any questions that you wanna ask or ones that you get often, Robin? No, I mean, I feel like we touched on things. I'm trying to see if there's any questions coming in um that we should answer but i will say a few things apply now apply sooner rather than later yes uh go to bigbrothercanada.ca go to the faq it has yes. some of those answers <gasps> what oh. now you're just yeah. throwing them in there now you're okay, just throwing okay. them in there <laughs> oh hello everybody oh hello whatever Mom. are you at work <laughs> oh always at work Oh, I, yeah, you're always working it. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, hey, say less. So Herman was another um, house guest who auditioned um, before and just popped right away. Like you always seemed, uh, Herman, like you would be comfortable anywhere you are. Like no one could ever actually make you feel uncomfortable. True. Um, because you just really, you do seem like you know yourself and you were so entertaining and so fun to listen to. And you were also not trying to be anybody else. Um, what was the process like for you? Um, yeah, was, I tried out twice. So I'll tell you, when I didn't make it for uh, season nine, I was like, oh, yeah, this isn't for me. It wasn't meant to be. But I, uh, you know, I was like on the last day of uh, a casting kind of thing, I sent, I sent a video in and it was just me at my desk just kind of, talking about myself and um yeah it was just it was just amazing that it kind of went the way it did and uh and i'm happy obviously i sent the video in but i honestly up until that point i was like i'm not doing it so um <laughs> i was you know I'm, I'm happy i did it and then i told some really really corny dad jokes during you know some of the conversations so hey get your brush up on your give us a good dad joke right now i yeah, love a good, a good dad, dad joke, joke. love 
You, you want to know? Remember the one I told you, Robin? I don't even remember. I can't. I, if you start, I probably will. But go ahead. Tell me again. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, this was really bad. How do you throw the best party in space? How? You plan it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I love dad jokes. That this guy no, is sorry. not being cast. Dick dad jokes <laughs> in your application. I love them. Keep them coming. Those are the best. And then, and then the, other one, the other one was just, you know, what's the pirate's favorite letter? You would think it's R, but it's really the C. You know what I mean? That was that was. Oh, really... I do remember that one. That was good. Though. I remember that, good that one. one too. Thank you. See? That was a good one. You get me smiling. And sometimes people who have so much confidence, like Herman, I will try a little bit to throw him off. He, let me tell you, he is unshakable. Like there is nothing <laughs> I could have done, said nothing. He kept the smile going, the charm going. Like that guy had us eating out of his hand, and I have absolutely no problem. <laughs> Right. I guess it is it is really nice when you're confident that you're that we're we're choosing somebody who will be able to not just like survive in the house but thrive. Like that's what you really want to watch. You yeah. want people who can who can kind of take all the slings and then throw it back. Um however uh well they do in the show because as you know there is only one winner. Um but there are so many other winners in a season if you if you are there for um, for like that growth and that and that unusual experience oh, sure. in life because you're in a very small family, right? Hundred percent. I was gonna say too. I think I think it's easier to be like confident and you know more concise on what you're trying to do or who you're trying to come across as when you are yourself. So like, don't get caught up in trying to play yes. a character that you think they're trying to cast. Like if you think you're gonna be cast as this person because you fit that that type. Mm. Everyone that got cast away this year fit multiple different, like, character types. I mean, like, everyone had multiple different things that they brought to the table. So you're trying to position yourself as a certain person or character to try and get cast. I mean, y'all are smart enough. Y'all sniff through it by, like, mm -hmm. you know, all the way, you know, halfway through it. And then by the end, you're like, I wish I was just myself. Because right. you, really, you did it. Because then, then you can't regret that. Exactly. You, yourself, you can never regret it. And you want to leave a game like this or the casting process like this with no regrets, even if you get on or don't. And I, I remember when we were doing finals in person a few years back, um, I'd always, you know, after I, we'd bring people in a room and I'd walk them out afterwards. And it's like, it's, you can tell instantly the people who walked out and went, I nailed it because they were themselves. They just talked authentically like themselves and then there are people that went outside and i you know closed the door behind and say how do you think you did and there were people like yeah like i bombed i said and i was like yeah you did because you said <laughs> things that you thought we wanted to hear how would you yeah. answer it now well i would have answered it a little bit differently yeah just go with it guys don't try to mm -hmm. be someone you're not talk to us like you talk to your and also yeah robin to add to that also don't be scared of us we don't bite we want everyone to be amazing we want everyone to be amazing yes. whether they're going to make it into that very tiny window that year or not um but anyway uh, herman thank you so much for for popping in it was great to see you no problem um, no problem i know you gotta get back to the job Thanks, herman. looking I'll get good. back to it looking okay. good bye love you <laughs> see you later bye. bye okay let's I'm I'm trying. This is uh I keep feeling like oh, stop. No. Stop. No. She, she's better than me. I was gonna say oh, she is a bigger I star have... than you are. I mean I'm just hey, saying uh, she's gone. she ran away. <laughs> Bye. I wanted to see the ring. Yeah, what's going on? I got it. it's on her finger. It's what? it's real as far as I've told her. When are you going to make her an honest woman? What's happening? Next summer we're doing it, Robin. It's happening. I manifested it. It's real. It's and you were you were very smart, Kevin, because you didn't do it in the house. She's like, don't do that. But I want to tell you a little story about uh, Kevin. Applying, yes. Okay. Because Kevin was maybe one of the most self-possessed people I've ever seen in a, a casting interview. And it was so interesting because I'm not going to lie. There's a couple of things you said, Kevin, that we have heard before. I'm going to be a villain. I'm going to be a mastermind. Mm -hmm. And 99 times, 99.9% .9 <laughs> of times, people can't be exactly what they see in their head. And we're like, this, uh, this is all great. This is all, I have no doubt that Kevin thinks he could be that. Let's see what happens when he's in the house and can he actually be that? And my word, Kevin delivered every single thing you said going in. You did that. You had so much fun. You were such a pleasure to watch because you weren't like, this is a horrible, you were like, Bring it on. 
You know, it was beautiful to watch. Beautiful. I will I'm say, I will say one thing to that, Arissa, and yeah. I, and then we'll let Kevin speak. Um, <laughs> Kevin was a finalist for season nine, right? Got very mm -hmm. close with the same thing, and I think it was one of those like, do we believe him? And yeah. then when he came back for season ten. It was like, oh, okay, we believe you. We, we believe, believe you. you. We believe you. Sometimes <laughs> like, people will come and they'll try to be, oh, that angle didn't work. Let me try something different. Like he was ready to go. I think I remember Kevin saying hi to you and you talked for like 12 minutes. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna sit back and listen to this guy go. Like, and it was like, it was the right time, obviously, the right season, obviously. Yeah. And that he was authentically the guy that he showed us in finals, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, by the way, we're, we're running up on five, but like you haven't even said one word and we've been like, oh. Um, anyway, so we might, I might even go over a little bit if Robin, you have to, I totally understand, but I, I would love to, to say hi to a few more people that are here. But um, Kevin, what was the process like for you? As a so. Winner? So first of all, you mentioned 99% of people who say that don't do it. 99% of people aren't me. That said, True. True. that said, for me to actually get into, to make it through that first video, took me looking at my life and trying to find out. Mm. At, first, at first I was looking for, oh, am I a professional skydiver? Uh, did I, have I been to every country in the world? But those weren't the things that worked for me. And when I talk to people and they say, hey, I'm not this massive personality, you don't have to be. The thing that actually helped me get past stage one was looking at my job, which was a sales engineer, and thinking about how this applies to the show. To me, that was really boring, run-of-the-mill tech stuff. Mm. But we hadn't seen that on the show before. And when I made that connection, I was able to break through step one. So for people who are looking at themselves and saying, oh, I'm not this person that's jumping out of the screen, every single person has something that people can relate to or that can be applied to the game. And you just need to take a few minutes and look at your mm -hmm. life and pull mm -hmm. out what those things are. So that's what helped mm -hmm. me. I think that's so true. I also think that sometimes it's not as obvious to you what those things are. Like you, you put your, your mind to it and then you figured it out. Okay, let's, let's talk about something that I do know a lot about and how that would relate to the game. Sometimes you might not know what that thing is that make you unforgettable, but you know who would know? Like your partner, your bestie, yeah. your family. If you're not 100% sure because there's like five things you could say, but you really want to drill down on one, you only have two minutes or one or two, talk to the people around you and let them tell you why they would want to watch you on Big Brother because I think you might get some wisdoms there or mm -hmm. some, some droplets of droplets of wisdom. Whatever, you know what I mean? It was um, good. It was good till you hesitated. The droplets of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you, tiny droplets. You might find some great droplets. Uh, just saying. Um, so if you're not sure, um, ask, ask around. Um, because again, we do want it to be that moment in your life where you can look at your life and, and, and accurately represent where you're at or what you could bring to the show. Um, but sometimes you need a little help and it's okay if you're not perfect. Again, I'll say it again. We don't actually want perfect. You don't actually want perfect either. You want people with real flaws and who are going to make mistakes and, and be great sometimes and not so great other times. And that's, that's the, the beautiful aspect of the social politic part of the, of the game. So as a beautifully flawed person, let me say to that, this is not a job interview. Yeah, bring the best version oh. of yourself, but also if you have some bad qualities, it's not the worst thing in the world to explain so them to casting. You're yes. not applying for CEO. It's Big Brother Canada. <laughs> it's that is true. such a good point. People will yeah, talk to point. me and they'll slip like a bad word. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like, you're, we're just talking about living life. If you say those words, say those words with me. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Like, don't censor yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. You're not on a job interview. You're trying to entertain the country and win a lot of freaking money, which you did Maybe bad. it's fun to be bad, Robin. Maybe yeah. it's really fun to embrace <laughs> uh -oh. those qualities. Uh, <laughs> so good seeing well, you. Um, we miss you um, in the house. I can't wait to eventually see you again in person. It's been a long time, but sending you lots of love. So excited for BB Can 11. Me too. Ooh, who that? Who's that now? Bye, Ken. Bye, oh Ken. my gosh. Arisa, so you, everybody, you got all the people, all the house guests. Honestly, listen, if we could go on forever, 
sure I would because I'm seeing all the names I want to speak to everyone. I'm just trying to keep it to people from this past season and even okay. then we could probably do two more hours, but we won't. But Hi. Lisa, you were somebody who also just like jumped right off the screen. You were so real. And I think to be honest, that speaks to who you are as a person, but it also speaks to, I don't know, having that, like sometimes um, age can help in a way. Oh, because yeah. I mean, you're like so much younger than uh, than me, but <laughs> I'm not really that young. Yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, um, but what I think um, sometimes that gives people a little bit more grounding, and and people in the chat who are who are older who've played, I feel like that's all of them. Yeah, that's um, you know, and I feel like that's something that um, that is really uh, it's part of your X factor. Um, but I think you were you were exactly who you were in the interviews. Um, in the house and that was so beautiful to see you know oh. kind gorgeous and also fiery oh, oh my all god the above i second everything she said <laughs> Thank you so much honestly i saw it pop up on my screen and i'm like holy shit i would have done my hair had i known i was gonna actually <laughs> and, and at the same time i'm thinking my god she doesn't even need to do her hair and she looks gorgeous like <laughs> not not a stitch in me look at this <laughs> Stunning. I know it's true. It's true. But you were, um, you were so fun and you were part of such an amazing season. Like, see, I, it's crazy that we could be on the air for 10 years and then have our last season be like, just on, on, on 12, on 15. Right. Like, it was amazing. What was it like to be part of? It was so beautiful to be a part of it. Like sometimes I, I still pinch myself and think like holy shit I was on season 10 like this epic season. Yes. <laughs> Like, that is so special. That is something that I'm going to take with me forever. That Sienna, my daughter, is going to be like, my mom was on <laughs> there. The way she brags. And yes, let her use her mom for clout. What do you think my daughter does? <laughs> Same. Oh, my I God. I love it. It just, it makes me feel so special. It warms my heart. I, I love you guys for giving me the opportunity. And if there is one thing that I can say to yes. like, all of the mamas that are out there that think, you know, I don't have the time. I can't do it. I have to stay here and take care of my child or my children or whatever it is. No, you can. You can figure out a way. If I was able to figure out a way, like with, you know, time constraints and job, yep. you can do it. Yes. If there is no way that you can't, I promise you, you can. And that is, you know what, Tisha, that is such a good point because think of the epic, like, parents who played our game. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Right? Tara. Kiefer, Ika, like these are names, like people, like these are big, big players and, and uh, finding a way to make it work also means those people that you like left behind are also there rooting for you. And that's like actually a very, you miss them, but that's a very special thing that, um, that I think only parents can relate to, but you can still be a bad, oh, can, I don't want to, I don't want to swear. Well, I don't no, want to swear. Also, a bad B? Oh, you, you could be a bad bee. <laughs> a bad bee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we love you so much, Nisha. We Thanks love you. So down. good seeing you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh my God, Robin, I could do this forever. I, I love seeing all the old people. I want to see everybody again. Everybody. <laughs> oh, what um, fun. Seriously, you guys, I just want to say before we leave, like, freaking love doing this show so much. I love you, Arissa. I love the production. I love Aaron. I love Lauren. I love my team. Everyone yes. global. It truly is not only a family with the house guests, but everyone in production. And yes. um, I just saw Maddie's name pop up who just got engaged. So there's another one to check <laughs> up. Um, yes. But uh, seriously, you guys, if, if you want, if you love the show, apply, just apply. And if you don't make it, apply next year. Keep trying. It's a great place to be, and you will be in good hands, what I can say. Mm -hmm. Well, I echo all of that, um, Robin. You know if you've watched any episode, any season, it's such a labor of love for so many people. Um, and we care so deeply, and we want to get it right, and we don't want perfect people because that's not what this show is. Um, and I think you're going to really see that this year. We want we want to see people with all their flaws because that's that's really the human condition and that's when we uh -huh. elevate the show from like some like frivolous silly reality show to something with a lot of depth um and i think a lot of people say that after watching our show it's not just competitions and a thousand acronyms it's also 
these these deep moments of connection people who never would be having a conversation or or have the time to get to know each other like they would yep. in the show you know um and we we want to do it again all right you guys get your applications in please 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 today yeah. right now tomorrow this is the time don't wait for the last minute we're gonna wait for your uh interviews thank you so much for watching it's great seeing you arissa love you thank you love love okay bye everybody bye everybody Remember, love, this is the deadline